we've had a lot of interest in our tent and how we're living. So here we are. It's been six months that we've been living in this tent and we wanted to kind of go over all the stuff that we liked about it and what we didn't like about it and why we chose what we chose. So we have, the tent that we have is a Kingdom 6 REI tent and it also has the mudroom attachment. We chose that tent. This tent is eight by 14 feet. We chose that tent specifically because we wanted to have room. You can see it's like an RV in here. <laughs> we wanted to have room in here so um, if we got caught in the rain and the, the wind, we wanted a place to, that we could sit down and still do some editing and still do our, our work and stuff that we wanted to do inside this tent. But the cool thing about this tent, I want to show you a couple of the cool features we have. It's a dome type tent. The bars, there's basically one bar across the top, two legs down, two bars across. So it's not the it's not the easiest to set up to set up with one person. It definitely takes two, but it's worth it if you want to have the space to to be able to stay dry and to stay out of the wind. One thing I wanted to show on the sides here. In the, on the sides, it has this on the rain fly. A lot of people don't see, you can't really see it, but if you roll this up, you can strap it here. And now you've got extra windows and you can see outside, outside with it, along with this, okay? So you also, you have that. There's also a tarp that's underneath this. This is just a heavy duty Home Depot tarp. We wanted this tarp because it was larger, so it gives us something to stand on and use our little carpet here that I keep on top to wipe our feet off. They make a tarp that fits specifically for this tent that fits inside these rings down here. Come on inside. One thing nice about this tent that we really liked about it is that it has these large storage pockets all around the side. The storage pockets are great because it keeps, it keeps a lot of stuff off the ground. There's also these little pockets that are up top here can put things in put a, a light in um, there's also a pocket up here this is we have just the door stuffed up here um, there is vents across the top you can set the vents up in the top here go down or you can open them up in case it gets hot come on through here this is the mud room in the mud room it's shorter than the regular tent but the mudroom is an extra attachment and it's nice because it really is a mudroom. It keeps everything dry. Like we've been stuck in rain for a long period of time for three or four days and everything in here kept dry because we, of where we put it. So one thing I did do with this tent when I first got it, first of all, REI has really good stakes. They look like the aluminum ones, but they're larger and they're made of steel. They're not, they're not that, uh, they're not the little cheesy aluminum ones that, that bend. The stakes that I have are large tent spikes. These are steel tent spikes that I've got. I carry those extra tent spikes and extra poles inside this, inside this container that I, I put on the back of the Harley. Voila, the tent is set up. So let's talk about stowing the gear because it really comes down to, if you want to keep your sanity, you really want to be a little bit uh, precise with where you put your things it, at your home. Everything, I've said this before in a previous video, at your home, you know, you get up, your toothpaste, your toothbrush, it's all in the same place, you grab it, you brush your teeth, and away you go. Well, we try to set the tent up the same way. So it's really easy, or as easy as it can be, to get it set up and move on with our life. So come on in here. So real quick, on my bags, my bags always go the same way. My clothes bags go here. My ditty bag goes here. This stuff carries all of our extra stuff like laundry detergent and you know who knows what I've got in here. And then my tank bag. The beds always get set up the same way. The cots are either, either at this end or that end. It depends on the slope of wherever we're camping. But 
you know, we get in here and we set the, we, you know, we set the cots up. We put the sleeping pads on top of them, and then we put the sleeping bags, and then we have our little pillows. So, probably not the most efficient way to travel, but these have really saved our butts a couple of the nights when it's been really, really cold. So we keep those out just in case we got to tuck them around ourselves inside our sleeping bag. I guess it's kind of like a liner, a fleece liner, but that's not its intention. Um, Richard does the same thing. He has his clothes bag over here that he will sleep on with his pillow. Um, you know, we keep the stow the computer bag over there. It's just everything has a home. It always goes in the same spot and it makes it real easy. All right, let's talk about sleeping. These cots are the Helinox Ultralight Cots. Um, they're set up, it's got, they've got four legs. They just get you off the ground a little bit, so that's helpful. What you do want to be aware of, especially in cold weather, is you don't want to just put your sleeping bag over this because the cold air is going to come up under here unless you have a really good sleeping bag. Um, so what we do is we got these REI air with the air rails, air pan, mattress pad. Put that on there, blows it up real quick. We've got our sleeping bags. All right, our sleeping bags are the Ascend brand and we got 20 degrees. If I had, if I had to do this over again, I would get zero because we have found ourselves in some really cold weather. <laughs> All right, let's talk about pillows. These pillows are absolutely phenomenal. We had the uh, blow-up pillows last summer and we weren't that crazy about them, but we've got these, which is memory foam, which expands when you take it out, and it's basically just sleeping on a pillow, just a little bit smaller. Okay, let's talk about disadvantages of living in a tent. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well. You know, this lifestyle is not for everybody. I mean, it, it. let's be honest here, it can get hard at times. Number one, it doesn't come with a toilet. <laughs> no, I know, that's very obvious. Um, the other disadvantage is it's not a hard side. So you get into bear country and you can run into issues of, first of all, they might not even let you stay around camping there. Uh, or you're so paranoid that you don't get to sleep because you're afraid you're, you're you know, going to be eaten by a bear. Um, the other disadvantage, it, this isn't the easiest way to live. I mean, you have to love this type of lifestyle to really do it. You, you have to enjoy being able to move your house every couple days and um, move around because this is not for everybody and that's okay. Um, when it's cold, if you, first of all, don't travel with a plug-in heater or any type of heater like we, we don't, unfortunately. So when it's cold, it's as cold inside the tent as it is outside. There's, you know, there's just no difference. There's no getting away from it. There's no warming up. Right. You know, another disadvantage is the fact that it takes a long time to set up and tear down. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just push a button and it, it's slides a, come in and it's a base away camp. you go. Yes. It's a base camp. We'll set it up and do a base camp. Like we're set up here and we'll ride for four or five days. Yes, yes. And it does come with, at times, a, you can have a high level of pain and discomfort. I mean, let's be honest, you yeah. know, there's there's times we're huddled in here and going, looking at ourselves going, what the heck did we get ourselves Why? into? <laughs> Are we really doing this? We've yes. said that a couple times. Are we really doing this? Yeah, so those are just some of the disadvantages. The advantages to it, just watch our videos. I mean, we've been to some really stunning places and seen some stunning things, and we could do that because we were able to set this tent up and set up a base camp and then just go wander and explore the area. So the advantages, I think, definitely Are. outweigh the disadvantages. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that we don't like it at all. <laughs> People would say it's a disadvantage traveling on motorcycles, so you got to love what you want to do. Yes. Yes. So the only disadvantage is if you don't like this, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but quickly, what I wanted to do is just showcase all of the stuff that we're using as we travel. We've got the ever so awesome Coleman stove, which has worked out very, very well throughout our whole travels. And over here, I thought I would quickly share, this is what we call our spice rack. It's got, we do keep a couple other things in here just for storage purposes. However, it's, you know, the salt, the pepper, um, all the various spices that we use, the olive oil, just nice and 
It doesn't look pretty, but it does a job of keeping everything together and not rolling all over the place. And then over here, these are two things that we had purchased for this trip, and they've worked out very well. They're stainless steel. This has got the two plates inside of it. And then this rolls out into a saucepan with two bowls. It all goes together and gets stored in a relatively, for us, small compartment. This thing here, we're using it for its intended purposes, but the stuff that came with it, I think we kind of quickly ditched for the most part because it was um, plastic and it didn't hold up very well. So this is basically our utensil drawer. You know, we've got our hot pads and our cooking supplies. This is what I use to measure rice just because it's easy to remember. And it's, you know, our um, can opener. Over here, we have our collapsible um, kitchen sink is what this is. So I did get to bring the kitchen sink with me and it collapses into a really small thing. So whenever I've got dirty dishes, it's just kind of the dirty dish holder until I get around to washing dishes. And then we've got the ever present blue jug that I never carry full on my bike. But as soon as we land somewhere, we quickly find where's the water and we fill it up and then we're ready to go. So cooking can happen wherever we are, whether it's a picnic table, a tree stump, a block, um, a rock, whatever it is, that's what we do. Yes. So this is what we use and this is pretty much how we live. But we right. are enjoying having everybody out there give us their comments and just encouraging other people to go out and do moto camping. That's awesome. Yes. I think it's it's very humbling. It's awesome. So we just wanted to give you a real sneak peek as to how we're living. It's been six months, whether we're still, you know, talking to each other. <laughs> well, we've been we, married we've we... been married thirty one <laughs> years. So we know how to talk to each other. <laughs> Anyway, thanks so much. Hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications. We also have a Patreon page. But anyway, thanks for watching. That, thanks. Thanks again. <laughs>